Then we have the maracas. So shakers, Africa, maracas, Latin America. Wero, you see there, they've got riches. And that's why I get the scraping sound. Palitos, so it's wooden sticks. Palitos. Congas. So, not djembe drums, congas. You don't need to know the smallest and the large name. Bongos. Also drums. And I played with two sticks. Chakya is rattles. So, also like Africa, rhythm quite important. Now the pan pipes. Charango is the guitar. Quena is the bamboo flute. Flute or it can also be made from clay. Now this is a box that they play like a drum. And they sit on it while they play it. Now this is a donkey jawbone. So the, the bone amplifies the sound. The teeth are the ones that they scrape. So this is cowbells, a gogo. We also have that in Africa. And they have a board and they play this with, with a bow. And I have this train. Sounds Australian. Bongos. Very Latin American. Tambor. So it's a percussion instrument. And slaves brought it over to Latin America. So this is like triangles that we know. And this is the octocambrin. Sounds like a tambourine. This looks like a small guitar. It also sounds like a guitar. And it's got metal strings. So this is now what we also have in the orchestra. Kettle drums. Today we're going to discuss Latin America. Latin America is a big blend of ancient native cultures with European cultures and even African in few places. This has given it, it its distinctive and colorful cultures that can be recognized around the world. This has all contributed to create unique musical styles and dances to go with all over the region as part of those lively cultures. Each country has different traditional musical instruments that represents the native culture of the place. Here are five musical instruments used in traditional music from different Latin American countries. Now this is very African, la marimba. We know the marimba. This is a big percussion instrument native from Central America. It's made of, out of 100% wood. The sound is produced by heating or on wooden bars placed over resonators of different sizes with long sticks that have rubber on other on the one of the ends. Okay. Um, some say it is a Maya civilization instrument. Some others say that it is an adaptation of an African instrument built by slaves. It's still quite popular in countries such as Guatemala and Costa Rica. In fact, it is Guatemala's national instrument. That's quite interesting. If you visit these countries and have the opportunity to assist to a marimba concert, don't miss the chance. It is a great experience. So there we see, it looks like our marimba instruments. Looks a little bit higher. And we have more players on the marimbas there. 
altres. This is an instrument that can be commonly found in the Caribbean islands. It was created in Cuba and was later adopted by the people from Puerto Rico. These instruments resemble, this instrument resembles a guitar. In fact, it was created after the idea of a guitar. What makes it different is that it has six strings separated in three courses that create a particular sound. It is traditionally called El Tres, but you might also hear people referring to it as a triple or bandola. Its characteristic sound and rhythm they use when they play has a mixture of African and Spanish influences. La Antara, it is also known as the pan flute and is the ancestor of instruments like the harmonica. It can be made of a row of tubes of different sizes using wood or bamboo. The instrument is native from the Nazca and the Paracas cultures that once lived in the modern territory of Peru, being especially popular in the northern Cordillera. During archaeological excavations, experts discovered that they have been used for the last 2,500 years in this area. Okay. However, its modern name is quite recent, La Antara, it's from the 20th century. Okay. Then we have El Reco Reco. It's a simple percussion instrument that consists of a hollow piece of wood with transversal lines carved on it. So it's like that guero. The sound is produced by fractioning it with strings made up of the same material on the side that has the carvings. So we have it in Latin America to create the salsa and cumbia rhythms. It's also native of Brazil. The traditional Belizean music that includes it is inspired by the Inca, Spanish and African cultures. It is traditionally played by the, by the singer. El Bombo Leguero. The instrument is traditionally from a province in Argentina and it looks like another kind of drum. But again, it has a very peculiar and peculiar and distinctive sound. The material also used to make a bombo, um, the, the materials I use, I have leather and wood in this instrument. These are adaptations of the drums that the Spaniards used in their military campaigns along the South American territory. In the modern days, we consider one of the oldest instruments in human history and is used mainly to create zambam. As you can see, most of these instruments used to create what is commonly known as the tropical rhythms of Latin America all have an interesting story about the civilization that created them. Traditional instruments of Latin America is a big blend of ancient native cultures with European cultures and even African in places. This has given it its distinctive and colorful cultures that can be recognized around the world. This has all contributed to create unique musical styles and dance to go with it all over the region as part of those lively cultures. Each country has different traditional musical instruments of culture of the place. Music in Latin America is widely influenced by colorful and exotic carnivals and a range of dance styles. Carnivals may include fanfaras, featuring brass instruments associated with fanfare and almost always a samba band. The samba band features bass drum known as surdo, tenor drums known as repinigues, smaller drums known as tambourin and timbales and the distinctive sound of the agogo bells, that's the cowbells. Now let's look at the musical features. Among the distinctive dance styles arising from Latin America, are salsa and tango. You can find out more about these styles in the pair dance guide. We're not going to look at the dances. Other distinctive dances and musical styles are the rumba. The music is slow in tempo, expressive and in 4-4 time. The bomba features call and response with two beats in a bar. The merengue, a dance in 2-4 time signature but featuring groups of five. Bossa Nova, less dense in texture than the samba, 
two four time signature and highly syncopated dotted rhythms. So lots of the influences from the African music I see there. In addition to these famous dances and their musical accompaniments, there are a range of musical traditions, ensembles and styles across Latin America. These include the Chacarera from Argentina, which includes clapping and is in a waltz time. Cuba's Habanera is a variation on the tango and is based around dotted rhythm, which also appears in some other tango-influenced dances. Valenato is a popular style of folk music in Bolivia. It makes extensive use of the accordion. Now that is a Latin American instrument that you need to know and originates from village and rural life. Among the music of Mexico is the Huapango in which the meter often shifts. The time signature may continue shift from 3, 4 to 6, 8. For example, Music from the Andes also appears across several countries in Latin America and can be recognized through its distinctive use of pan pipes. There's another instrument that you have to know. Charango is the guitar and percussion such as the chakyas. Okay. Then we have musician Rafael Manrique. Please discuss the origins and construction of the charango and demonstrate how it is played. So I want you to type that in YouTube because we cannot get, I cannot load this clip for you here, but you can look at that on YouTube. Now we see the instruments that I want you to look at. Conga drums, the Cuban guitar, timbales, looks like snare drums, the cowboy, cowbell or the agogo, the kitarone and the accordion. There I see the dance, the salsa, and I see a little bit of the carnival. Okay. Well-known Latin America percussion instruments include the congo, conga, and claves. Conga are large hand drums which the musicians has to stand to play. So that's another instrument that you can add to your list. Claves are short wooden sticks, so wooden sticks, which have a surprisingly clear sound even in a large ensemble and play main, many of the central rhythms used in Latin American music. Cowbells and timbales also feature alongside other instruments in the salsa band. And there you see a beautiful picture of musicians, Latin American musicians. You see that the drums look a little bit different. Okay, we see it's also functional it's also a social thing. Now this is from Cuba. Cuba. In the background you will hear the pan flutes. Different types of guitar also features extensively in Latin American ensembles. We know that an ensemble is a group of musicians performing together. These include the Cuban guitar, sometimes with six or nine strings. The guitarone is an acoustic bass guitar in Mexico. The bio sexto is uh, also a guitar with a curved neck and the viola, it's more like a violin, a five string instrument constructed in a variety of sizes from small to very thick bodied. So there we have a very good idea of some of the instruments of Latin America.